The Amazon River, a name that resonates in the minds of even elementary school children as the world's largest river, is far more than just a waterway. Its basin spans an area almost as vast as the entire Australian continent, a land where, during the flood season, the waters surge with such force and breadth that no bridge has ever been constructed to span its mighty banks. Every day, the Amazon discharges an astounding 19 billion cubic meters of water into the ocean, a volume so immense it could meet New York City's water needs for 12 years. Yet, beneath this majestic surface lies a secret, a colossal underground river only recently uncovered, adding another layer of mystery to this enigmatic region. The Amazon is not merely a geographical feature but a world unto itself, often referred to as the world's gene bank. It is home to one-third of all known species, with new discoveries continually expanding our understanding of life on Earth. This lush expanse has been the habitat of prehistoric giants whose remains continue to be unearthed by scientists, providing tantalizing clues about a time long past. Beyond these biological treasures, the Amazon harbors remnants of ancient civilizations, their origins and fates shrouded in mystery. What secrets lie hidden beneath the river and within the dense canopy of the rainforest? The Amazon River, widely recognized as the King of Rivers, is a serpentine giant that constantly challenges our understanding. While commonly accepted to stretch for approximately 6,275 kilometers, this figure is far from definitive. The crux of the debate lies in defining the river's true source. If we consider the Marañón River as the starting point, the Amazon measures an impressive 6,400 kilometers. However, if we trace back further to the Apicata Creek, the river's length skyrockets to a staggering 6,992 kilometers, easily surpassing the Nile's 6,650 kilometers. Some scholars even argue that the Ukayali River should be considered the true source, which would extend the Amazon's length to an almost unbelievable 7,100 kilometers, leaving the Nile far behind. The grandeur of the Amazon is not confined to its length alone. This mighty river undergoes a series of transformations as it winds its way eastward, changing names six times along its journey. It seems to defy the rigidity of maps and charts, revealing a character as fluid and unpredictable as the water itself. In the central region, it is known to the locals as the Solomois River, only adopting the name Amazon in the final third of its course, where it flows more directly towards the Atlantic Ocean. Interestingly, many of the Amazon's major tributaries are named for their distinct colors, as if nature has freely splashed its palette across this vast landscape. The Negro River, true to its name, boasts a deep, inky black hue while the Madeira River glows like a rich, golden-red Madeira wine, captivating all who gaze upon it. Near Manaus, Brazil, the Negro River meets the Solomois River, a convergence of striking contrasts. One is dark and clear, the other murky and yellow, yet together they weave a mesmerizing tapestry of colors, creating a surreal journey where two worlds collide and merge. The Amazon Basin, a sprawling green ocean in northern South America, is a lowland covered by lush rainforests that span Brazil, Colombia, Peru, and Bolivia. Covering an area of 6.5 million square kilometers, it is equivalent to one-fifth of the Earth's land surface and rivals the size of Australia, which measures nearly 7.7 .7 million square kilometers. The Amazon River, a giant artery flowing with epic tales, is a marvel of depth and scale. Ocean liners can easily navigate upstream, reaching deep into the heartland, 3,700 kilometers from the mouth of the river. At its deepest points, the riverbed plunges to depths of 100 meters, far surpassing the 64-meter depth of Lake Erie. The formation of the Amazon River system is a testament to the passage of millions of years. It has witnessed the transformation of continents and carries countless secrets and legends, waiting to be uncovered. The origins of the Amazon River can be traced back to the Miocene epoch, around 11 million years ago, when it was a transcontinental river. But the Amazon's evolution is a story far more complex and fascinating. It wasn't until the early Pleistocene, about 2.4 million years ago, that the river gradually took on the form we recognize today. Over these vast stretches of time, the Amazon underwent countless shifts and transformations, even once transforming into a vast inland sea. What makes the Amazon truly captivating is its ability to transcend time and space. During the Cretaceous period, it was part of the Proto-Amazon Congo River system, flowing westward through what is now the African interior. Yes, Africa. Geological changes allowed the Amazon to perform a continental leap. Back then, two massive plates, the Western Gondwana, were connected. About 80 million years ago, these plates began to split, 
and the Congo and Proto-Amazon rivers diverged, each becoming part of different continents, separated by a vast ocean rather than a strait. Around 15 million years ago, the Andes Mountains entered a critical phase of uplift, driven by the subduction of the Nazca Plate beneath the South American Plate. This tectonic activity, combined with the collision of the Brazilian and Guiana Shields, blocked the river's path, turning the Amazon Basin into a massive inland sea. Over time, this vast body of water transformed into extensive freshwater swamps and lakes, and the marine life that once thrived there miraculously adapted to the freshwater environment. About 11 to 10 million years ago, sandstone from the west was eroded away by the powerful currents, causing the Amazon to change course and flow eastward. This shift marked the beginning of a new, vibrant chapter in the river's history. As the Pleistocene ice ages receded, the Amazon basin became a haven for an astonishing variety of life, just as we see today. The evolutionary saga of the Amazon River extends beyond the surface, hiding secrets deep within its vast basin. In 2011, scientists made a surprising discovery that revealed an underground companion to the mighty Amazon. This revelation came from the research of Valia Hamza and his colleagues at the Brazilian National Observatory, who used geological data from 241 abandoned oil wells in the Amazon basin. After meticulous calculations, they proposed the existence of a massive underground current, four kilometers below the Amazon River itself. In honor of its discoverer, the underground flow was named the Tomza River. However, the term river might not fully capture the enormity of this subterranean phenomenon. Data from hundreds of abandoned oil wells, including seismic sensors and other instruments, confirm the presence of this underground flow, which mirrors the Amazon's west-to-east direction. Unlike the Amazon, the Hamza River is much broader, spanning 200 to 400 kilometers in width, two to four times wider than the Amazon. While this measurement requires further verification, scientists are confident in its accuracy. The Hamza River is also an impressive 6,000 kilometers long, but its flow rate is incredibly slow, measuring less than 1 mm per second, comparable to the movement of a glacier. In contrast, the Amazon River's average flow rate is about 5 meters per second, roughly 5,000 times faster. Acknowledging this, Hamza himself admitted that river might not be the most accurate description. Despite its sluggish pace, the Hamza River's sheer volume ensures a steady supply of fresh water to the Atlantic Ocean. With a flow rate of approximately 3,000 cubic meters per second, it acts as a shadowy twin to the Amazon, silently safeguarding the land and ultimately merging with the distant ocean depths. The coexistence of the Hamza River and the Amazon River showcases the Earth's remarkable ability to create intricate natural systems. Together, these two rivers shape the hydrological network of the Amazon basin. However, the most surprising discoveries about this region didn't come from the depths below, but from higher up. The Amazon rainforest stands as a mysterious museum on Earth, preserving tales from millions of years ago. Holding a fossil in hand, one can almost feel the traces left by ancient creatures. Among these relics is a seemingly ordinary vertebra, but it belongs to a prehistoric behemoth that dwarfs modern pythons, the titanoboa. Compared to the vertebra of a modern green anaconda, the size of the titanoboa's bone is staggering. This super predator, which roamed the earth several million years ago, measured up to 15 meters in length and weighed over a ton, making it more than twice the size of the largest living snake today, the reticulated python. Such a massive body could easily engulf any prey, whether ancient turtles or the ancestors of crocodiles. Surprisingly, however, the primary diet of the titanoboa was fish, much like how colossal whales feed on tiny plankton. Although the titanoboa is long extinct, the Amazon rainforest remains a haven for dangerous creatures. Home to hundreds of species of highly venomous frogs, some of which can kill with just a touch, the forest is a perilous environment. It also harbors fierce crocodiles, electric eels capable of delivering lethal shocks, the notorious piranhas, a variety of venomous snakes, bloodthirsty vampire bats, and large wild cats. The Brazilian wandering spider, once listed in the Guinness World Records for its extreme toxicity, still prowls the forest floor, though it has since been dethroned. Its danger remains significant. The bullet ant, named for the excruciating pain it inflicts, which can last for up to 24 hours, is another resident of the Amazon. Giant centipedes roam freely, and even sharks have been known to swim upstream from the ocean. Of course, the green anaconda, one of the largest snakes in the world, continues to inhabit this enigmatic land. Amidst the dangers of the Amazon rainforest, isolated human tribes live in harmony with nature. 
These groups have maintained their primitive lifestyles, avoiding contact with the outside world, and have thrived here for centuries. Archaeologists continually unearth remnants of ancient civilizations in this region. Recently, a major study published in the journal Nature revealed a grand architectural complex hidden in the dense forests of Bolivia, abandoned for nearly 600 years. This discovery adds yet another layer of mystery to the Amazon rainforest. Twenty years ago, a chance encounter unveiled a long-forgotten prehistoric civilization hidden in the heart of the Amazon. The story begins with Dr. Heiko Prummers and Dr. Carla Jamies Betancourt, German archaeologists who embarked on an excavation project near the Casa Rabe village in the Bolivian Amazon region. The excavation site is located in the Llanos de Maxos, the southwestern part of the Amazon floodplain, known for its seasonal flooding. Every year, as water levels rise, this vast plain is submerged for months, creating an environment that seems inhospitable for human habitation. Yet, it was here that archaeologists uncovered a wealth of pre-Columbian civilization remains. This civilization, named after the nearby village, is known as the Kasarab culture. Radiocarbon dating indicates that it flourished between 1000 and 1400 AD. The Kasarab people left behind not only artificial mounds but also extensive, straight roads and canals stretching for kilometers across the landscape. More impressively, the distribution of Kasarab sites covers an astounding 16,000 square kilometers, with the mounds themselves being the collapsed bases of pyramids and other structures. The dense vegetation of the Amazon had long concealed the intricate details of these monumental buildings. To gain a deeper understanding of these mysterious ruins, scientists employed LIDAR, light detection and ranging, technology for the first time in the Amazon basin. Mounted on helicopters, these high-precision laser devices emit up to 1.5 million pulses per second, generating detailed three-dimensional topographic maps. By overlaying existing maps of artificial structures with the new digital models, researchers were presented with a stunning image. Two large areas covering 147 hectares and 315 hectares, respectively, with a complex and orderly layout. While the exact population of these sites remains unknown, the layout suggests the presence of a large, well-organized community. Similar settlement-type civilizations have been found in Southeast Asia, Central America, and Sri Lanka, but the discovery of the Kasarab culture in the Amazon basin marks the first evidence of such a highly developed civilization in this region during prehistoric times. Archaeologists emphasize that this discovery is just the beginning of unraveling the mysteries of the Amazon's prehistoric civilizations. Future challenges include deciphering the functions of these ancient cities, the origins of their inhabitants, and the reasons for their abandonment. Radiocarbon dating shows that the Kasarab sites were deserted around 1400 AD. Why did they suddenly vanish? The land still guards this enigma, waiting for curious minds to explore and uncover its secrets.